What's up guys, in this video I'm just going to talk about my text editor just a little bit. Now this isn't one of those videos where I go and list out all the tools that I use when I'm working, but I just really wanted to tell you about this new feature in the text editor that I use. Now I use Atom, uh, it's built by GitHub, so as you can imagine it works really well with GitHub and it works really well with your repositories. When you have a repository cloned to your computer, it'll show you changes you've made to a file and files you've added to your repository but that's not the feature I wanted to talk to you about at all I'll go ahead and show you right here though I've got a project open and it's my personal website uh, and as you can see I have these orange files here and basically those are files that I've made changes to and you'll see all the lines that I made changes to on here and I just made a whole bunch of grammar changes to a lot of what I've written on my website just to make it sound better. Uh, but if you take the cursor and go to the right of the application over here, you'll see an arrow pop up. Now, when you click this arrow, this window will slide out from the side. Up top here, you can see all of your unstaged changes and it's all of the files that I have either added or edited in any way and if I go ahead and click it once it'll pop up over here and you'll be able to see all of the changes that I have made it's it's a really nice way to be able to know what you're pushing up to the server before you go ahead and do so now to go ahead and stage these changes all you need to do is go ahead and double tap a file and you'll see it's down here in the staged changes. Now, if you wanna go ahead and stage all, it's really easy, just come here, click stage all, or if you don't wanna push anything up and you accidentally stage them, there's an unstage all button as well. Now, just beneath this window, uh, you can go ahead and add a commit message. So like I said, I just made a bunch of grammar changes. So I'm just gonna write that in here real quick. And then you can go ahead and commit that. And once you hit commit, You'll notice down here at this arrow a number popped up and for me it's a 1, it's probably going to be 1 for you too. But if you go ahead and click this arrow, you'll be able to push this. So when you click push, it's going to bring this up here for you to sign in with your credentials for GitHub. So when you sign in, and I'm just going to go ahead and sign in real quick. You'll see down here it's working and it just pushed all of those changes. So as you can see here, now there is no orange files. There's everything's up on the repository in GitHub. Now I love being able to do this in Atom because I work with Jekyll a lot and when I'm working with Jekyll I have my terminal open here and I have a server running and to go ahead and push something to GitHub, I had to stop my server, go ahead and see what changes I made, go ahead, add those, commit those, and then push them. And then I had to restart the server, or I'd have to go ahead and open a new terminal window and you know, CD into my desktop or wherever my file is. And then I would have to go ahead and, you know, get add, get commit, and get push and then either leave this open or close it or whatever. But it's just much easier and much quicker for me to be able to just push this to GitHub right from my text editor. And I love that. So that is all I'm gonna talk about today. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up if it helped. Subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.